Uh, today we want to talk about, because the weather is nice, um, and getting out there and, and in the streets and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was dumb. I'm gonna, let's just start again. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi everybody, I'm Eleanor Roosevelt. Welcome <laughs> to <laughs> It's been a while it's since- It's been a while! Okay, one more time. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm Ninja Bean. And welcome to a new video. Uh, it's been a while since we've been doing videos together. Together. And We're a little out of practice apparently. <laughs> uh, we felt that now with some of the restrictions being lifted, and you're, like mm -hmm. now we're allowed 10 people in a group. Yeah. Um, in this area anyway, in Canada. Yeah. Uh, we decided it would be appropriate to kind of get together again, but still stay like physically Physically distant. apart. Yeah, not emotionally. We've never actually emotionally distanced each other. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So we just wanted to do a quick video about uh, things that you should know when you're doing a roadscape because the weather's getting nice. Um, it's quite warm here in Southern Ontario. Um, we have been getting out with roadscapes and things like that. And uh, we wanted to kind of give you a few tips that you should know before you roadscape. Yeah, we want you to be safe. Yes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get yourself set of outdoor wheels. Yeah. Uh, we don't recommend that you skate on uh, hard wheels. You wanna get yourself some soft wheels. So these wheels I'm pretty sure are 78s. That sounds right. Um, and uh, I've had these since I first started skating. I They're actually second hand. They do have newer bearings in them. I did get new bearings uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, so yeah, that's these are my outdoor wheels. Uh, the softer the wheel, the better it's going to be at absorbing like bumps and cracks. Yes, yeah. Because um, if you skate on hard wheels, it's going to be not a lovely experience. <laughs> yeah, you'll find yourself like, Ugh, like all the time, uh -huh. um, and you'll find yourself reacting to really small things that uh, you don't need to necessarily react to. If you have softer wheels, um, you'll just go right over the little bits of gravel and tiny cracks in the road. Uh, the other thing I would say, uh, sort of off the cuff, is um, a really hard um, toe stop. You want something that's not going to like deteriorate every time you mm -hmm. make a stop. Uh, so these ones, I have these, they're Bionics. Um, this is probably my second season outside with them and I thoroughly enjoy them. I can generally go about three seasons with these outside. Yeah. Um, and we practice outside when it's not COVID-19. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're also gonna wanna wear safety gear. Some people do, some people don't. We yeah. wear gear. Yeah. I find um, because I was trained to roller skate with roller derby, um, that my first instinct when I'm about to fall is to hit my knees, which is mm -hmm. what we're taught right at the beginning. So the one thing I will 100% all of the time wear is my knee pads. Um, these guys, again, these were secondhand. I got these for my cousin. Shout out Jess. I've had them. This is my fifth season with them. I do use these ones only for outdoor now. Mm -hmm. I have a brand new set that I got to use about twice yeah. before everything happened. So uh, these lasted a really long time. They're Smiths, they're fantastic. Uh, they're super old and I love them. Yes, um, I always make sure to have knee pads. I like wrist guards. Yeah, just wrist because, guards are also like, something I go with. A broken wrist with that the sucks. kind of work we do yeah. is just not a good idea. Yeah. Um, and definitely a helmet. We want to be a good example. Like you've got children. Mm -hmm. uh, you bug them all the time about wearing helmets. Yep. Um, it's, a support it's a rule in our house. If you're on wheels, you have a helmet on. The brain is important. You mm -hmm. need it. So yeah. I have to say, I did do a road skate the other day without a helmet on, but my kids weren't around, so okay. I guess you can be forgiven. Oops. Uh, oh, fanny packs. Oh yes, we. Have so those. we. I am a child of the '80s. You are a child of the very late '80s. Yes, I was. I'm basically an '80s baby. Though. So, um, fanny packs were big back then, and uh, they should. They are making a pretty good resurgence lately. Yeah, they're kind of coming um, back, and that's really. It's really but it is great to have something, whether it's a little backpack or a fanny pack or something on you that you can keep some very important things yes. while you're skating. It uh, doesn't hinder your skating. Two big things are your skate tools. These two specifically you're gonna mm -hmm. want, because if you lose a toe stop, it's really hard to hand tighten those bad boys. Mm -hmm. um, and if your wheels get loose. Yeah, or your trucks or something. You're gonna want one of these. It can't hurt. I always have my phone on mm -hmm. me, uh, especially yes. because Especially if I'm skating by myself, which doesn't happen very often, um, especially on trails and stuff. I generally have a friend with me, but um, I always have a phone on me. We always have phones anyway. It's just a it's just a good practice, especially yeah. as a woman. Um, you never know. Yes, you have to take out there. some precautions. It sucks 
But people suck. It's, yeah. That's the bottom line. Uh, the other thing is, uh, before you get out there and road skating, is to know your stops. Yes, um, that's important. There are other things on the road aside from you, like cars. Mm -hmm. And if you miss a stop and you roll into traffic... That's not safe. No. People... And I know when I first started road, road skating, hills were a bit of a challenge because yes. I wasn't sure of my stops yet. I just dropped the key. Is it's it okay? Fine. It's fine. Um, I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you come to a corner too fast, you need to know how to stop. Yeah, for sure. Um, so one of, the, one of the biggest stops that you will use, um, well, the one that I use the most is the reverse toe stop. So do I. Uh, just because it's quick. Um, but that's not an easy stop to, to master if you're if you're a new skater. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that you should work on is your plow stop, yeah. um, which will also help you if you're going down hills. Yes, yeah, so um, it helps you stay in control of yeah. your movements. Just like just like when you're skiing. Like if anyone's been skiing, that's the like the first feet. stop they do, the pizza feet. Um, that's the same thing. Um, and it just helps you stop. Uh, you can do a T-stop, but it's it's kind of hard on the wheels. It's a little bit rough. It is a bit rough, so yeah. we recommend practicing. It's a great time mm -hmm. to practice your reverse toe stop. Yeah. Because um, you're going to need it in derby anyway. Yep. And, and just note that when you're road skating, the terrain changes. Sometimes you're going to yeah. be on uh, asphalt or concrete, and it's going to be mm -hmm. nice and smooth, and then you're going to go around a corner, and it's going to be a road that has not been road. Done. Yeah. Uh, and you're just you're going to have to know how to get low keep your center, center of gravity low so mm -hmm. you're not falling over things and yep. learning to jump is not the worst thing no it's not uh even if it's just over like you know like sometimes you can get fairly significant cracks like if you can it's i mean it's a good way to practice too mm -hmm. is, is to to go on a road skate and jump over cracks i mean road skating is going to help your derby game significantly because mm -hmm. you're, you have to use different muscles yeah it's a vastly different muscle set. it's the weirdest thing like mm -hmm. i'm like oh well, you're still you're skating you're skating but road skating and indoor skating is very different um i always find i feel it majorly on the outside of my legs like just from that like pushing motion um and then you always felt it in your oh, back yeah your lower I, back. we could be practicing derby all year and then i do one outdoor skate and yeah. i will go like 15 minutes and it just rips from my back yeah which is so, so weird. weird and i don't i don't know like you're not skating any differently i've watched her stance it's different so you're gonna feel differently when you're road skating versus skating on a track mm -hmm. or inside uh so yeah that being said, get outside, enjoy yourself, um, and in the comments below, maybe let us know where your favorite place to skate outside is. Yes. Um, thank you so much for watching. Yep. And Please, you know, like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again real soon. See you next time. Bye. Bye.